which he has given for the young community, especially when they are uh, getting into the fisheries development per se. And uh, this, as was said by Dr. Eknath, maybe since it is recorded, it can be used for all kinds of trainings, which are organized for the people who are trying to grow, who are trying to grow in fisheries. I think that is something really, I would say marvelous. I know, and uh, we have been together for uh, maybe for the last 40, 45 years. And uh, I am seeing uh, Dr. Ayapan, you know, his, uh, I would say the vision and mission very clear, straight, and he doesn't mix up things. Always he talks sense. So that is something which always impresses anybody and everybody in the whole world. It's just not in India, even outside also. And uh, I would even further say, uh, Dr. Ayapan has been always, he was in exile for fisheries for quite some time. And uh, I don't know, we him back. So congratulations to Sifri and Dr. Das for bringing him back into fisheries. And he should speak. He should be there in fisheries forever. His blood is in fisheries. In fact, though I have left fisheries for the last 15 years, but always when fisheries comes, we always enjoy, cherish our memories and the science behind it and all that. I wish once again all the very best to the entire fraternity of Sifri for on this very important platinum jubilee occasion. And I wish always Sifri stands forefront in taking forward some of the issues because this is the institute which we heard of right from our younger days, way back in 1970. So that means even today, Sifri is in the forefront. I know I was there with the Sifri team for quite some time for some meetings, but I really enjoyed my stay working with them. And of course, contributing whatever way that is really possible. But I would say I learned more from them than myself giving out to them. So that is something always very good. And uh, nice to see everybody. I would say that here again. So all the stalwarts in fisheries and aquaculture, probably I think it is nice. It was a good uh, platform. Uh, probably that is the reason I wanted to just attend this. I know there is one meeting for me with the ministry. So I have to go for it. But all the same, I think that was a great, uh, this was a great cherished moment in my life and for which I thank Sifri and also Dr. Thank Ayapan. Thank you very much. Thanks everybody all the very much. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. Dr. V. Venkatesh, former Sifrian, he is also with us today. May I now request Professor V. Venkatesh for his kind remarks. Sir, please. Uh, I think uh, sir is now not there. So, Dr. N. Saringi sir is with us. Uh, doc, he is former director SIFA. May I request Dr. N. Saringi sir for his kind remarks. Sir, please. Uh, good afternoon, everybody. Good and uh, namaskar and pranam to all. We expected a answer. Dr. B. K. Das, Director Sifri, all the stalwart of fisheries and aquaculture, my seniors, my colleagues, and friends. It is actually a great pleasure to hear happen, sir, especially uh, on after a long time when he was uh, part, departed and he was not coming to, as uh, Dr. As it was told that he was not actually in fisheries, those were fisheries, but he was not coming to many other talks and meetings. So hearing him was a very great pleasure for me as well as all the fisheries fraternity. And uh, he has covered the story of Sikri in such a way that uh, it actually his talk always a, hearing his talk is a very pleasure. And uh, he has given a great uh, history of the entire Sikri and the present, past, and future also he has given. And uh, I have always great, uh, uh, I have always felt very 
great working with him his attitude with a simple living and high thinking has been appreciated by everyone and which followed by many people and i also liked his this particular lifestyle as well as the way of uh, administration and uh, the future he has shown in the fisheries and reservoir fisheries as well as, well as these things will take a long way and once again i congratulate happen sir and i uh, have my pranam and respect for him and it is also i give all congratulations to uh, dr vikya das for getting this uh, lecture the great lecture organizing this particular lecture and also congratulate him for the getting best institute award and his staff and the rafi ahmed kidwai award also and i wish him great success in future and hope that he will take it forward in future years also thank you so much pranam to all thank, thank you, you sir thank you very much uh, i would like to invite dr riji john uh, riji john vice chancellor kufos for his kind remarks sir please thank you thank you for the invitation uh, very great appreciation to uh, dr ayapen sir uh, i am also an alumni of the college of fisheries mangalore i really appreciate the way in which uh, he has uh, delivered or crafted his lecture for a, such a, a wide audience starting from students to the most experienced people in the audience i really congratulate for his uh, well defined speech as uh, dr west was there has just now said the way in which it is presented from start to finish was uh, continuous in uh, a single uh, manner in which it was very highly coherent and connected and i also really appreciate the emotional connect he had with his parent institute and the humbleness with which he has presented the entire thing and he connected to all his seniors his colleagues and all the uh, participants in this particular program as well as looking at the history and uh, detailing all that has been uh, given by the uh, fishery sector uh, in the anger of uh, cafra to the entire country uh, towards the beginning of blue revolution uh, thank you very much for the opportunity all the very best to, to sir and all the very best to, to the uh, cafra for the uh, platinum jubilee celebrations thank you thank you thank you very much May I now request Dr. V. Venkatesh, former Sifrian, and uh, for his kind remarks. Dr. V. Venkatesh, sir. uh now uh, sorry i think he is not there now i would like to request another sifrian dr v v sugunan former adg in land fisheries for his kind remarks dr sugunan please okay am i able to audible yes sir first of all uh, let me uh, Congratulate Dr. Ayyappan for his brilliant uh, presentation on the Sifri's uh, uh, history, rather. And uh, uh, it was a very delightful experience. Where he has taken us through the past, just like in a time machine. And we have he has not left any major landmark that this great institute has uh, um, made. So now. at uh, some of his uh, talk he became very emotional talking about this parent institute that made us emotional too many of us started our career and uh, he has uh, very uh, nicely depicted how sifri has contributed to the inland fisheries not only the inland fisheries development in the country but also whole fisheries scenario scenario by the uh, research result not only that at a certain stage as rightly pointed out by dr ayappan uh, at several times of time 
we have seen that most of the people who lead the country in any capacities were you know, at some stage were civilians. So, and also the names that he has mentioned, the stalwart, they're all who, who is who or the um, um, encyclopedia of all um, that veterans that uh, we have seen here. Anyway, uh, this, uh, but uh, I was really wonderstruck by the brilliance at which he has uh, collected all this information and put it in a few slides. And he managed to not to miss any major points there. That's a big, uh, big applause to Dr. Ayupan. And uh, was, uh, of course, uh, uh, it is no wonder to me because I know, and all of us, knew, all of us know, uh, any active personality of Dr. Ayupan, who can think, do things in a very diligent and sincere manner, and also impress people by presenting facts and figures in a very nice manner. Anyway, this was a very great opportunity for me to hear him after a long time. Uh, in fact, I was a beneficiary because I worked under him as a director of city and also as ADG. And I'm, um, I know, the, uh, I, I, I know, I'm not surprised to see this kind of brilliance from him. Anyway, this was a very nice experience, sir. And uh, we'll cherish this memory for quite a long time. And also, as rightly pointed out by many, this presentation will be a classic piece that will guide the new generation for a long time to come. Once again, I um, uh, congratulate Dr. Ayyapan for this brilliant performance. And also, at, on this occasion, let me congra congratulate Dr. Das for the Institute buying the Best Institute Award and also personally him getting the Rafia Ahmed Kidboy Award for the, uh, for this, uh, from this uh, ICAR. So once again, um, uh, my, I am happy and I am grateful to Sitri for uh, making giving me the opportunity to hear Dr. Ayyapan after a long time. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. May I now request uh, Dr. Mani Madan, sir, uh, RDC chairman of SIFRI, for his kind remarks. Sir, please. Okay. Uh, now I would like to request another Cifrian, uh, Sri K. Suresh, former Cifrian and also IAS. May I now request uh, Dr. K. Suresh for his kind remarks? Okay. So. Uh, I um, I request uh, again. I request Dr. S. D. Tripathi sir for his uh, kind remarks. Sir, please. उनको साहब को बोले वहाँ से वहाँ से फोन में मेरा फोन में बोले मैं स्पीकर में दे दो to wrap up the session. Uh, again, due to some issue, we are unable to hear from Dr. S. D. Tupati, sir. So, uh, may I now request Dr. J. K. Jena, sir, DDG Fishery Sciences, uh, for his uh, kind remarks. Sir, please. Good afternoon, everybody. Uh, most respected uh, speaker of the day, uh, rather I would say speaker of the Platinum Jubilee year, former uh, Secretary Dayer and DG ICR, Chancellor of uh, Central Agriculture University, Imphal, 
chairperson of the Karnataka Science Academy and the most respected mentors uh, of many of us, uh, Dr. Resha Epan, sir, and the speaker of the today, uh, respected seniors, those who are uh, present today, Dr. M.B. Gupta, sir, Dr. S.D. Tripathi, sir, Dr. Dilip Kumar, sir, Dr. A.P. Sharma, sir, Dr. K.K. Vaas, sir, Dr. Shugunan, sir, Dr. A.P. Sharma, sir, Dr. Sarangi, sir, Dr. Reknath Saab, Dr. Suresh, Dr. Venkatesh, uh, Dr. Manimaran, Dr. Vashuyavappa, Dr. Riji Jain, uh, and many others, and the present directors of ICR Institute, deans of several colleges, uh, uh, esteemed sen seniors, invitees, scientist colleagues from CIFRI and other institutes, uh, all other uh, Fisher Research Institute, I could find also several students from different places, uh, participant, friends, ladies and gentlemen. It is indeed a great honor and privilege, rather I would say, not an opportunity or uh, definitely, it is a privilege rather or honor for all of us to hear Ayapan sir uh, on, a, on a day, uh, on a year, uh, which uh, we are trying to celebrate after 75 years of wait. Uh, sir, your presentation was like a flowing river of monsoon. We were not able to know where it will flow. Uh, so nobody predicted uh, what you will be speaking. Uh, so it was so scintillating, mesmerizing, rather a dream presentation, rather I would say. You took us along the memory lane of uh, last 75 years. You did not miss anything. Uh, about uh, the aspect of agriculture scenario in the in India, uh, the the rather I would say the success whatever we achieved over these years since independence, uh, not only in the fisheries but also in every front, uh, you tried to cover, sir. So uh, uh, so congratulations uh, to you, sir, for this mesmerizing lectures, salutation to you for agreeing to deliver this first presentation. Uh, sir, you have been the mentor of all of us, guide, friend, and rather I would say a role model. Uh, many have been looking uh, forward to uh, see you, hear you, uh, and you have taken uh, not only, uh, not only uh, this uh, subject into a newer height, but also you, you have given pride to all of us that fisheries uh, professionals are able to speak today in National Front. I said, uh, uh, you spoke us uh, about the importance of the fisheries and aquaculture in every aspect, whatever the uh, your vision you presented by 2030, 50, we have noted all, all those things. And we would like to hear again the recording also. Not that whatever we have heard is enough. We need to uh, hear the recording of uh, your presentation again and again, try to synthesize. And we'll see that uh, whatever your dream or to whatever you think we need to be doing, uh, we'll be doing, sir. The, we understand that 75 years of human life, one get respected not only because of the age, but also for the experience, knowledge, and wisdom he or she produces. Mm -hmm. But the organization like uh, CIFRI, uh, we don't consider uh, it has reached to that stage. We consider at the 75 years age, still is a youth stage with all strength and vigor. Uh, whatever, sir, you advised, will be with that strong, uh, with the strength and vigor, we will be able to take it forward. We know the ambitions uh, of many of our uh, colleagues, the expectations from all the front, uh, from the lowest to highest level. Uh, we, will, we will not leave any stone unturned, definitely. The, uh, the dynamic leadership shown uh, by each of the directors from the beginning 1947 till date, has taken the institute to this level. Uh, that is what we, uh, and you gave the name of each one of uh, one, one of the, not only directors, but also the people who, has, who have contributed to this cause. And we will see that 
uh, whatever they had uh, they had dreamt during those days uh, we will see that those are uh, those are uh, really uh, action has been action is taken on those line uh, we know this institute like cifri has not only uh, is it's keeping its identity uh, uh, since last 75 years but also uh, as you rightly mentioned had given another four institutes of uh, national importance not only national importance but international level also they have got recognition sifa siva nbfgr dcfr we know how the uh, this institute has uh, given uh, uh, to us uh, probably we know the role and responsibility of this institute at the present time. Uh, the people say at a time when uh, aquaculture is uh, providing so much uh, food or so much of fish to the, uh, to the food basket of the country, whether it is relevant to have, uh, give, relevant to give equal importance in the capture fisheries or open water fisheries or not. Probably I would say the role and responsibility the Institute need to play at this point of time is much more than the, uh, the role it has played over the last 75 years. As you told sir, the environment is under severe, uh, severe threat or pressure. Uh, again, the dependence on the natural uh, water bodies has to be uh, protected. Uh, we know the expectations. Uh, expectations, you told about the doubling farmers income, protecting the environment, uh, all those aspects you told, I, 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 can only, I can only assure you or reassure you that your every word we have, uh, uh, we, we have noted and we'll see that those are uh, reflected in our future. future. Sir, uh, uh, we used to hear stories, uh, friends, we know that we used to hear stories from our uh, elders or seni uh, seniors all the time. Uh, for example, at the family front also, in the evening time, we used to hear our parents, grandparents about the old, uh, their uh, older age or the stories uh, about their parents and grandparents. Many times we don't believe. They say something we used to purchase, vegetables we used to purchase, maybe one kilo at one paise. Uh, sometimes it, is, it becomes very difficult to uh, realize. Uh, sometimes they say we, the, the income was only, maybe monthly salary was only 10 rupees. So, so we try to compare that. Uh, uh, but when we look at, look at this 70, last 75 years of research, uh, whatever we have done, we know that most of the things have been published and we, all those the information probably uh, are available. Uh, with us in our archives, but the uh, but when you look at the experience of our uh, former colleagues and seniors with regard to the their hardship they underwent or the uh, the, uh, the situation at which they had worked in the in initial pages, probably it is uh, time for us to record all those. I think the uh, we need to have storytelling by our seniors who are there available at this point of time. Uh, seniors like uh, Tripati sir or Gupta sahab or all those uh, who are there, I think we need to hear from each one of you and we'll try to capture all those your experience and uh, in the form of stories and we'll try to see that all those are archives on the, in the coming days also. Uh, friends, uh, I, I, I know that the number of people is coming down from 350 to now less than 200. More the time I take, probably there will be nobody will be there except me and uh, iPhone sir because he has to be there at the <laughs> land. <laughs> uh, so I don't want to speak much, but only assure and reassure you, sir, whatever you have spoken, uh, we'll, we'll see that those are translated into actions. Only what we need is, uh, as Dr. Uh, some of the speaker told, uh, they, they were regularly waiting for you for years to listen. Uh, so I only simply request you, uh, request you that uh, probably that uh, phase uh, of that lull period is over and we should be having opportunity to listen to you more frequently, get advice, blessings of yours uh, in uh, whatever uh, way possible. That is what only our request. 
that uh, you should be able to guide us all through to take this sector to a newer heights that is what everybody is dreaming at present uh, nothing much to say a uh, great salutations to you on behalf of the council my own behalf on behalf of all fisheries institute and particular on behalf of the dr bk das who has been able to probably influence you and uh, uh, make, make you agree to deliver lecture uh, a congratulation dr das rather i would say uh, that you could convince her to uh, bring to this platform uh, and a great salutations to all those who contributed to the cause of uh, this growth of this important institute of national importance ciefri it is not only the scientist but also everyone who has contributed from scientist uh, administration technical students support staff everyone whoever has contributed uh, salutations from each one of us from the sm council for taking this institute uh, to uh, bringing this institute to this level and uh, we like to uh, like to keep our uh, keep uh, uh, the memory whatever you have uh, as i told uh, in the coming days we will try to uh, record all those things i would request dr bk das uh, to see that how do you do uh, this we need to make a, a road map made in the coming days uh, thank you very much uh, friends for the opportunity you have given cifri and uh, namaskar to everyone thank you so much thank you sir thank you very much uh uh we have with us uh, now uh, dr uh, k suresh former uh, cii uh, so sorry uh, now dr k suresh is with us he is former cifrian and uh, sorry he is uh, he is also cifrian and and uh, and uh, in uh, i and also i is has joined uh, is now with us may i now request uh, for his kind remarks sir please uh, uh, good afternoon uh, dr ayapan and uh, dr das i'm very happy to be joining all of you today in fact i remembered uh, the sifri days very distinctly and clearly after ayapan spoke about it in such a great length and i he really refreshed our old memory that was in the year 1978 we all had uh, just uh, joined i was in the ars and i worked as a scientist in sifri and uh, now uh, looking back that was uh, really a very very interesting period we had and in fact after that i worked in the icar for uh, four years and uh, after that i got into ias and uh, worked as an ias officer in uh, various capacities in government of madhya pradesh and in government of india so i ever used to be my roommate batchmate classmate and of course finally in the barakpur as a colleague and in barakpur we used to stay together and then uh, we learned a bit of bengal bangla there and then uh, we really had good time and lan uh, sifri building is still uh, fresh in our uh, memory the guest house was really good and the food they used to serve was also excellent and uh, apart from that the uh, research facilities although they were in the in excellent uh, condition in those days uh, we had an opportunity of learning quite a lot of uh, uh things in uh, sifri i was posted to a uh, strand road office when uh, ayappan mentioned uh, that uh, uh, the sifri office shifted to strand road so i i had good recollection of the sifri office then the strand road used to be full of slush and mud we used to wade through the water wade through the muddy slushy area and get into the office dr paul used to be my boss there and we used to have a lot of discussions very interesting uh, discussions about the fish pathology later on i moved to bhubaneswar in bhubaneswar fresh water aquaculture research center 
Then again, I worked for almost two years. Later on, Ayyappan joined us there. And then uh, it was uh, an interesting place to work. And we established the uh, unit very well there. Uh, Dr. Dilip Kumar, Dr. Vihar Pisina, all, uh, I finally remember them. I could see Tripandi Sahib and my regards to him because they were all pioneers in fisheries. Now, after having spent almost uh, 30, 40 years in the administration and now back uh, to Chennai, I've started uh, fish farming in a very small way. I've taken up to fish culture and uh, it's a different cup of tea altogether. Talking about theoretically, talking about scientifically, then when you get into the field and handle the fish, right? Uh, the way a fish farmer would do, it is really, really tough because a lot of uh, variables are in the field which probably defy all the scientific uh, assumptions which we make in the laboratory. And I think uh, from my experience in the field now, I should uh, come back to the Institute for my queries. And I think uh, CFRI has always been a helpful hand earlier also. And I wish uh, uh, all the success. And I am happy that uh, this uh, uh, 75 year celebration has uh, been taken up. And, uh, and, and it's rightly so that I've been invited for addressing all of us. He's such a gem of a scientist. He is very humble, very good person. And I think uh, the uh, fisheries will further gain from his experience. I wish all the participants and all the organizers success in this event. Thank you very much. Dr. K.K. Vassar is with us today. He is also a former director of CIFRI. May I now request Dr. Vass? Uh, for his kind remarks, sir, please. Uh, uh, am I audible? Yes, sir. Yeah. Good afternoon, everybody. Uh, Dr. Ayapan Saab uh, and Dr. Tripathi and all our senior colleagues, Dr. Das. Uh, at the outset, I thank Dr. Das for this wonderful program and uh, congratulate him on the outstanding adva uh, award of the scientist uh, of the SIFRI and his personal recognition as a Rufi Ahmed Kadwai Award, and also DDG uh, Dr. Jana. Now, the, it, is, it is, always, uh, uh, it's always an opportunity and a great honor to listen to respected Professor Ayapan. Uh, he has spoken today the entire memory lane uh, in a, such an eloquent fashion and, uh, and from his heart. You know, the, the speech came from his heart. You know, it's not, uh, you know, as a, as a part of, you know, he was emotional at many times. And so it is a wonderful exposition and for this whole, and we all congratulate him, thank him for this, for this homework that he must have done on this presentation. And again, Dr. Das has motivated him for this presentation and the opportunity time for the SIFRI to have an first Platinum Jubilee lecture by none other than the Professor Ayapan. You know, Professor Ayapan has led this fishery sector, uh, uh, director at two institutes, then DDG fisheries, then a secretary there. You know, it's not a mean achievement that he, uh, it is to his, uh, that he has made. And the sector has been very much flourishing under his leadership. Now, coming to the uh, SIFRI, I mean, I also belong to SIFRI. You know, I remember, I recollect, uh, I joined SIFRI in 1972 when uh, SIFRI was celebrating the Silver Jubilee, of which the Professor Ayapan also mentioned in his talk. And a lot of stalwarts that time were part of this whole activity. We as young scientists were really trying to figure out who is what, you know, if you recollect the name, uh, Dr. V.G. Jingaran, Dr. J.C. Malotra, Dr. A.V. Natarajan, all these people were there. You know, they were, they were guiding this sector in such a fashion that we as a youngest would always admire and listen to them, their directions, their, their follow-up and their things. 
you know, we, we picked up our things from their, their, their thoughts, their guidances into the, into the system as a fishery sector. And I feel what Professor Ayapan has traced today is something kind of a, if you belong to FIFRI, it is a kind of a fisheries move, national fisheries movement, as you have an independence movement, which started from 47, or eliminated in 47. This fisheries movement started from back four. Uh, it's a kind of a national movement, which has really flowered today into various areas, various challenging areas. You know, Sifri fundamentally has traced that the inland fisheries gene perhaps started from Barakpur. And this gene has transferred to many other places in various forms, in various shapes, whether you talk aquaculture, you talk ecosystem systems or whatever you do. The gene has come started from, uh, it has germinated from the, the seed has germinated from Barakpur and carried forward by various peoples, both nationally and internationally. There's a wonderful thing that has happened. But I must mention one or two aspects. He has mentioned very, uh, very eloquently that the transition when the defining year of 1987, when it happened, uh, the, it was a defining year and it was a transition. He mentioned the transition has been very smooth and transition has been very appreciated. But I remember uh, in 87, uh, Dr. Sugnan will bear me out, he's there. When in 87, we sat with Dr. A.G. Jinger, who was the then director of the Institute. In fact, it was, uh, it, was it was loss of approach for the Institute. You know, what to do next? Now, the question is, at that time, the leadership at the SIFRI, headed by Dr. A.G. Jinger okay. and the DDG concerned, modulated the strategy in such a manner now, today, if you talk of fisheries, you talk of sustainability. You know, this is a sea change. That time, everybody was, we, uh, as if something was lost, everybody was talking of aquaculture. And people in uh, captured fishery was at a loss to understand how to modulate ourselves, how to change our strategy to research. It was not an easy thing to really readjust our strategies. But then it was such that now I am so happy that Dr. Uh, Professor Ayapan has modulated in such a manner. Now everybody is talking of environment, everybody is talking of sustainability, everybody is talking of all those issues, which perhaps uh, was given a mandate to an institute. You know, how this transition happened, how the leadership that they modulated their approach is a really is a great, great achievement that and today we land up for the same institute. We have a best institute award. We are, you know, that is how the how the scenario changes uh, when the when the approach or strategies are all uh, working together, and uh, you come up with a with a program, you come up with a strategy, and this and the scientists involved get themselves involved in those areas, in especially researchable issues that you take institute forward in those lines. And now this area is becoming globally and internationally so much important. That uh, the 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 interest in these programs at a global level has rekindled the effort, rekindled the thought that the SIFRI as a mother institute, as a primary institute, has still a lot of relevance in years ahead. So that means it is not as Prof. Dr. Jaina mentioned, the 75 years is not the end of it. It's perhaps the beginning of those approaches that have started. And therefore, we have to sharpen our things, strategies, so modulate more science into the things, as we have seen. You know, there are so much challenging areas, and SIFRI has withstood all the challenges. And I am hopeful with the leadership provided at the, at the SMD level, at the ICR level, at the institute level, and the scientists who are new people, uh, new brains, new you know, thinking of innovative, as as Dr. Professor Ayappan has mentioned, new innovative ideas, you know, the blockchain technologies, IOTs, infrastructure technologies, ICTs, you know, those things inputs, if you put a dark thing into the understanding of these areas, it will, it will generate uh, wonderful science and at the same time help to conserve the stocks, conserve the environment and achieve those SDG goals, which perhaps has been highlighted. I'm so much, I feel really proud today to be part of this story of national movement of fisheries which started from Barakpur. Of course, Barakpur is a very small place, 
to start our careers. We also felt frustrated at many times, but we stuck with it and we continued and drank. So therefore, Sifri has built us up and we have built Sifri just a two way. I mean, we have been part of Sifri. It has been part of our livelihoods. It has been part of our career. Whatever we have achieved is from the Sifri system. And we salute and I salute Dr. Professor Ayappan for his very strong leadership that he has provided to the fishery sector. And fishery sector, what it is today, is perhaps his basic and humble efforts that he has, has done. Otherwise, the, the sector, you know, in at a national level or ICR level, fishery is a small sector. It is not a big sector to make an impact. But fishery is now seen to be a making an impact, is perhaps his efforts have really paid the dividends. I again thank Professor uh, Ayappan for his, for his uh, bringing those memories back into the forefront so that people who are now at the HMFSA will take cognizance of those issues and evolve new strategies to work on them. And I also take the opportunity to thank everybody, all the seniors, all my colleagues uh, who have been part of SIFRI movement and uh, the, the director and the staff of the SIFRI for uh, having this program in which we are all virtually joining and we feel really proud of. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. Uh, again, I would like to request Dr. Esti Tripathi, sir, for his, uh, to express his views. Okay. So we are at the end of the session. So, uh, Dr. S. Ayappan is the is a living legend in achieving highest scientific position from a hum humble background through his dedication, devotion, discipline, and hard work. He has bring the glory and recognition to the realm of the fisheries sector. He will also be rem remembered by the agri agrarian community in the days to come. Taking permission from all of our stalwarts and seniors, may I request all of you to pay standing ovation to salute and honor Dr. S. Ayappan once again. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. So we are uh, at the end of the session. Uh, I, again, I would like to request our director, sir, to conclude the session. Thank you, sir. At the, uh, in the morning, sir told me I am nervous. So at least, <laughs> at least now we have concluded. And I think you have seen that uh, we have gathered as much as the uh, fisherians that can able to listen your talk and we, it is mesmerizing. And uh, we, we, we have, you have listened from the uh, Cyprians, veterans in fisheries, the dozen of the people who are working for over the more than 50 years in the developing the science. Really, we are proud, sir. Your contributions and your dedication make us to take this path ahead. For our dedications, we are dedicated. And for, uh, for your advice years to come, we'll listen from you and we'll save the fishery science. And uh, I also thank our DDG sub, JK Jana sub. Yesterday who, in the evening, I uh, talked to him, sir, you will give the final wrap up to this thing. So he was uh, happily agreed. And I thank you, sir, uh, being with us in this today. And uh, we'll try to make uh, the 75 glorious year of independence and Sifri in the platinum jewelry as much as the Dian and the Sifrians can take part to deliver their memories and the way forward that if we can look for the next uh, 10 years, we can set up maybe what we have started our career, the Institute at humble beginning, and we'll definitely keep it up for the years to come. And uh, so much dimension to add, though we have little space still, we are trying to make something more with the available space and thinking that this of the sustainability is important for which sir told today, really it is important because everybody talk about climate change, sustainability, SDG, and we are there to work on this. That will help us and you all of your guidance 
today uh, we have listened from the senior people who are working reluctantly years together for shaping the fishery still uh, miles to go also sir your blessings and your guidance definitely help us to do we on behalf of all uh, fisheries institute cfri and the people who are participated today recognize your contributions salute your devotions and dedications and uh, all of us wish your blessings will help us in the future years to come sir thank you i will not tell more about you this much uh, i pray uh, for the almighty lord jagannath which can give you courage energy so that uh, we can take little of that and work for the science sir thank you sir thank you sir thank you very much thank you very much Thank you. So we'll conclude the session. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Pranam, sir. Namaste, sir. Namaste. Thanks to everybody. Thank you. Great for you. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much, sir. Namaskar, sir. Thanks to everybody. Thank you, sir. 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 Thank you. Namaskar. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you so much. It's a pleasure to listen. Namaskar, sir. Namaskar, sir. Hello, sir. Hello, sir. Thank you, everybody. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks to everybody. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much, sir.